to Daily News. Today we'll be talking about Banjo Kazooie, Nintendo Road Trip, Pokemon, and Super Mario Maker 2. So let's jump right into that news. So there is merchandise being made for the Banjo Kazooie series, more specifically, Banjo's uh, backpack um, is being made, which could hint at. Uh, Banjo Kazooie being announced at E3 this year, but that also could just be like them pushing the brand out and trying to get more of their IPs out into the world and more people to buy their merchandise. But it's probably most likely that they're going to have a new game coming out at E3 or announcing at E3. Um, there's a lot of signs pointing to it, and I would <clears throat> thoroughly like it a lot. I love the original two Banjo-Kazooie games, uh, they're really good, and I would love to get a new a new decent uh, Banjo-Kazooie game, uh, not like Nuts and Bolts, which was terrible, but like the original ones on the N64, go back to those roots, bring the base game, and make it today, that would be amazing, and they would probably make a lot of money off that. And plus, that'd be better than a lot of the things that Rare has been doing lately. Like, Sea of Thieves was okay. A lot of the games that they had, had them make for the Kinect, like, they just basically bought it and then shoehorned a bunch of really trash games out of that company. When it was something really good and back in the, the 90s, which now it's not really much. So, I'm not sure what um, Microsoft is doing. But if this is true and it turns out to be legit and they are making a new banjo kazooie they're finally doing something right with the studio that they bought from the nintendo way back in the early 2000s so let's hope at e3 in the next week or so that microsoft announces a new banjo kazooie uh we do know that microsoft's e3 uh, will be the longest they have do uh, done so far um i'm not surprised with the like 14 first party titles they're supposed to be announcing or something like that. I'm not really sure that's that's a leak going around and there's also Supposedly going to be announcing the Xbox 2 at this press conference, but again that, that that's always speculation there so we could most likely see a new Banjo Kazooie game at E3 uh, We know we're not getting a new Conquer because they've said that they're <clears throat> not making it so our only next logic is uh, Banjo Kazooie game, which I would love to have. So Nintendo is hosting this uh, Nintendo uh, World. So Nintendo is hosting this uh, Nintendo road trip. They call it, going through the U.S. to certain cities through uh, uh, June through October. And this little pop-up event is going to let you be able to come and try various uh, Nintendo Switch uh, titles like Super Mario Maker, Smash, uh, Splatoon 2, I got Mario Kart 8, um, Pokemon, Let's Go Pikachu, and Let's Go Eevee. So uh, if you live in one of these cities, uh, go to their website and you can find out there's like 12 of them, I think. And you can give uh, these games a try if you haven't. And this will be the first time we get to try out uh, Super Mario Maker 2. So that would be probably most people's reason to go to one of these. And the, it says to try out uh, the game before it comes out on the 28th. Which is I'm really excited for because that game looks amazing. And I like the whole concept. Nintendo still waiting for the Legend of Zelda version. You know we want it. You know you can do it. Please bring it to us. But other ways... This is a fun game. Um, you think that Nintendo's doing? Uh, they did. They did something similar for like before the launch of the Nintendo Switch, which we went to, and you can find that on our blog on this channel. Um, so that was fun. Um, fortunately, we won't be going to this one because the two times they're in our area, we've got stuff planned and way too much already going on this month, so we won't be able to go because they're starting in Chicago and then they're going to Milwaukee which is on June, and we got too much going already in this month, so I won't be able to make it, and unfortunately, I won't be able to try Super Mario Maker 2 before it comes out, but I'm 99% sure we'll be picking it up day one because 
That game looks amazing and I can't wait to play it on the go. So if you make it to one of these events um, down the line, uh, comment down below or let us know how, how it was, what you thought about it. Is it worth doing? Because Nintendo does a lot of this stuff and I feel like other companies or whatever could benefit from doing some more stuff like this and going around and letting people try out their their upcoming games and alike you know i mean there's uh microsoft do has something coming up with halo called the halo outpost that they're doing but that's like the first time i've ever seen something from someone else that's not nintendo and that's not just like a static event that they pop up one place like a con and then that's it you know so stuff like this is great and nintendo's always open to doing stuff like this so kudos to them and it gets people out there to try their games so there's a new detective pikachu game coming to the nintendo switch first one was on the 3ds i don't know if the if this is because the game sold so well or the movie was just too good that they're making a second one i um, not really sure, but we do have another one coming. There's really literally like no detail to it. Um, so it probably will be coming sometime next year. At the earliest during like probably the summer of next year in 2020. So that probably be the earliest we'd get this game. Um, so that, that's just me. Um, I never played the, the first one on the 3DS. So I thought that this actually looks good. Maybe I'll pick it up since I have a um a switch so we'll have to wait and see when they announce more information for it so reports are going around that uh super mario maker 2 will not have online play where you can play with your friends and you just got to play with randos and hopefully it works out because we all uh, we know how that works out sometimes when you gotta cooperate with people you don't know so as of right now it sounds like you won't be able to play online with your friends but you could do some like some like local co-op stuff like making stages I'm not sure if you can do like some of the online features locally with friends but as of right now you can't play online with friends which is a kind of a downer for some people but like me I only have I only have one friend so that won't be a problem for me and I highly doubt we'll be clamming to play online together on this game so that's not too big of a deal for me but I know some people are upset about it so Hopefully Nintendo turns that around or updates the game and allows you to do that in the future because that's something people want and I don't know why it wouldn't be in the game to begin with. So Super Mario Maker 2 comes out June 28th and I can't wait to try it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. It lets us know that you like the content that we make here. Also, comment down below what you think about these like little pop-up events around the US that Nintendo does. Do you think? Do you, do you think these are great? Do you think it's worth Nintendo doing? Do you think other companies should do it? I would like to hear your comments down below. Also, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Go to uh, Patreon.com. Support us there so we can make, bring videos like this and videos on our other channels. Also, go to Teespring.com. Purchase some merch. Post on social media and let us know that you're a true fan.